damn, bro, when they say you're only as good as your last win, boy, is that shit the truth. Or it don't matter what you did yesterday, bro. Show me what you're doing today. And we're going to get into this video, man. As you can see by the title, we're going to talk about Mr. Trainer of the Year himself, Derek James, bro, and Bo Mack. We all know Spence and Crawford had their scrap on Saturday. Crawford had that lopsided victory. And I'm seeing shit all over the place, bro. Calling um, Derek James overrated. Saying, is he really, really, a, really, really the, the, the best trainer and all this shit? And I'm, let me tell, tell you guys something, man. You guys need to pump the brakes for a second, bro. And even bro, uh, Bo Mack, you know, he's been throwing shots at Derek James. I don't know if they got some, they got some kind of issue. And just even him saying um how basic Spence is. He's kind of throwing shots at Derek James and people saying if Derek James should have stopped the fight. What I really want to say about this shit, this man was trainer of the year, bro. Trainer of the year. Um, and it ain't like Spence didn't fight quality opponents even after his car crash, bro. When Spence and Crawford fight, no doubt about fought, no doubt about it, Spence had the better resume, bro. After his um accident, he fought Danny Garcia. Uh, and Ugas, right? So, you know, just to shit on Derek James like that, bro, he brought Spence to this level. You know, he, he does the best he can do, but you can't only blame the, the trainer. You got to blame the fighter as well. I mean, the fighter and the trainer go hand in hand. The trainer got to train, the fighter got to go in there and fight. And you can't take away from what Spence has done in the sport of boxing, bro. See, this is the shit with people, man. They love you. They'll love you today, but tomorrow, you know... Those same people that love you, they'll shit on you, bro, if you if you don't have a good performance, especially in the sports world. Um, if Derrick James was such a bad trainer, you know, he wouldn't have guys like um, like uh, Frank Martin, uh, Errol Spence, uh, Anthony Joshua went over for him to uh, train him. And recently, Ryan Garcia, you know, I feel like no, matters who, no matter whose door uh, Ryan Garcia knocked, they would have been more than happy to train him. But he chose Derrick James for a reason. So let's not off of off of uh, one loss go and try to shit on this man and, and start talking talking reckless like he's he's overrated. He's not a good trainer. And this is the same man that got trainer of the year. This is the same man that has big names in his gym, bro. Anthony Joshua? Are you kidding me? Ryan Garcia? Errol Spence, Frank Martin, up and coming star, you know, like, like, come on, bro. Those are some of the biggest names he has. And, and these guys are no scrubs, bro. You know, there's a reason that these guys are choosing this man to train them. And just because Spence had an off night or, um, you know, let's not, I'm, I'm not even trying to take away from, from Crawford's greatness. Spence lost to the way better fighter that day. You guys are turning around now and saying um, Derek James is overrated and he's really not a good trainer, bro. Like, stop that shit, bro. Stop that shit, man. You know, it, it's pretty disrespectful, you know. And, and, it, and it goes like that in life, too, man. Somebody might do everything right, bro. Day after day, day after day. Um, year after year, just doing everything right, everything proper. Everything is tick-tock, up to date. And... You know, they have a little fall off or a little hiccup, bro. And everybody forgets all the good you've done. And they turn around and just hold on to that one, one slip up, bro. And they just, they just, they just try to kill you with that shit. And that's the world we live in. And I'm sure that that shit ain't really affecting uh, Derek James, bro. Just like, you know, us regular people in, you know, I'm not saying they're not regular people, but people that... Wake up every day and, and, you know, go go clock into a nine to five or entrepreneurs, whatever it is, bro. When we face those little hiccups, we shouldn't let it bother us either. What we should do is take that and make that shit make us better people, learn from it and grow stronger, go stronger from it. You know what I mean? And I hate when people do that shit. And now I feel like I'm looking at I'm looking at all these channels and everybody is throwing shade at Derek James. It's like, bro. Ain't nobody in this world perfect. It's only one man that's perfect, and that's God, bro. So just because somebody's not 100%, bro, and doesn't live up to your expectations day after day, doesn't make them trash at what they do. Have a little bit more respect for these guys, bro. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes shit happens in life and you take an L, but you know, real ones out there, man, they take that L, they grow and learn from it and they become better people. With that being said, it's your boy Armin with Real Talk. Hope you guys continue rocking with me. Blessings to all of you guys, man. If you're not sub, sub to the channel, bro. And I hope we all grow out here and I hope we all win out here, bro. And let's always strive for greatness because ain't shit in this world impossible, bro. And if you have a slip up, just make that shit make you better and stronger. We out of here.